AAF, or Advanced Authoring Format, is a file format for professional cross-platform data interchange. In this video, we're going to package up our sequence so that we could give it to our audio engineer where they can sweeten up the audio, add Foley effects, or perform a final mix down. We'll embed the audio directly inside the AAF file and package up the video content as well so the audio engineer will have video reference of the audio. To keep the file size down, we'll package the video as standard definition, as in most cases, the audio engineer won't care about video quality. So let's do it. We have our sequence here. So the first thing that we'll need to do is go up to File, then Settings, and here we'll change the format to NTSC, which will convert the video to standard definition. Now we'll come up here to the Sequence window, right-click and choose Export, then Options. Next to Export As, we'll want to choose AAF. Same as any other export, we'll want to choose the appropriate options. Use marks if we are only exporting a marked section of the sequence. I'll choose Use Selected Tracks. I'll keep Include Inactive Audio Tracks and Enable Mask Margins Deselected. Next, I'll choose Include All Video Data Tracks in Sequence, as well as Include All Audio Tracks. Let's take a look at the Video tab first. For the export method, we'll choose Video Mixdown, which will take our sequence and mix it down to one video file, keeping the file size down. It's a good idea to choose Mixdown without video edits, compatible with all versions of Pro Tools, as in a lot of cases, we might not know which version of Pro Tools the engineer will be using. For transcode, I'll choose 2 to 1 MXF, as this is compatible across most NTSC formats, and the quality is actually still pretty good. For media destination, it's important that we choose folder and then choose same folder as a file. We're packaging up the sequence to send out so they won't have access to our drives for the media. Now let's take a look at the audio details. For export method, I'll choose consolidate media. I'll put something like 60 frames of handle, which is more than enough. Then I'll choose include rendered audio effects, render all audio tracks, remove track effects, add audio mix down, and then for the rest, I'll leave as default. For media destination, I'll choose embedded in AAF file. With this selection, all audio will be contained inside one AAF file. The Pro Tools engineer will be able to open up that AAF file inside Pro Tools. The standard definition video and all of our audio will open up right in his or her Pro Tools section. The next thing that I'll do is save these settings as a preset so that I can use them at a later date. To do that, I'll simply choose Save As and give it a name, something like AAF for Audio Post. When I'm ready, I'll choose Save, give the AAF file a name, choose the destination where I want to save it, and then hit Save again. Media Composer will create a video mix down and then package the AAF exactly how we like it. That's it, we're done. Congratulations, you've just created your first AAF file. 